<sighs> First thing I want to mention. Right. Your haircut. Really? Fantastic. I can't pull. So? It, I can't pull that off. Yeah. But no, I've I, I've thought about doing that. Like, no, thank you. Um. Yeah. No, I I I I am pensioned for like the long hair. I do like it. You know. Uh, but you pull off a good shag. But but this time and on your head. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking, you know, like a whole bunch of friends of mine had done the same, and I was like, you know what, I might as well do it this time. And as soon as she did it, I was like, why did I pay fifteen bucks for this when I could have done it myself? But good point. Good point. And I was I was worried. The, my biggest worry was that I had a lumpy head, but. I do. That's why I can't do it. Also, what, what did you make me here? <laughs> oh, probably like milk, fat, and antacids. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, oh, you're really going downhill? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Foley's After Midnight. My guest tonight is someone I have not seen in a long time. I thought he was dead. Mr. Benjamin Coates. Benjamin, come on. As a true fact, I actually was dead when he came back. Really? Just for the show. What did you die from? Too much, I don't know. Too I don't, much ass. Too much ass. I don't really know if I can go. I don't really know if I can go into detail about it too much though. But it does involve uh, female ass, obviously. But. but Benjamin, 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 how are you? I am not too bad. I'm actually about to go. Uh, well, actually, I'm okay right now. But in uh, about a couple weeks from now, I'm gonna be pretty. I'm gonna be stressed out like I was last year. Going back into the lion's den, which is academics. Oh, where did, where did you take that? I am going to Ryerson U University and I'm pursuing a forensic psychology degree. Damn. It's like, Batman. I feel like, so you like, well, of course, exactly. Ba Batman is, is the pinnacle, but I set down from that, it's like one of those crazy guys you see on like Criminal Minds or something like that. Yeah. And your TV is just influence what I want to do for my, my whole life of just being a, and that's like being an like officer. The dream job. Well, the dream job would definitely be sitting on my ass doing nothing and being like a stay-at-home pop, but yeah, we all know in this day and age, you know, that's it's unattainable, right? No, that's cool. Stay-at-home dads, they have a show about stay that. Stay-at-home, yeah. Like the, the paternity fraternity or something? Pr paternity? Is that right? Or maternity fraternity? Yeah, no, maybe. it's called Monsell Williams Court. It's called Men Watching Babies, right? <laughs> Man, I gotta get all oh, that. that. That was the original. It's called Three Men. What's keeping you busy, like, recently? Well, recently, well, work and watching well, multiple jobs. Actually, I've been trying to keep busy um, a lot. Um, I've also been trying to do some things to, you know, attain, you know, to more towards the career thing. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a lot of volunteering, a lot of um, getting a lot of certificates like CPR and first oh, aid yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. All that fun stuff. It's really kind of boring though, but you know, it's gonna, it might save a life one day, right? Yeah, it's gonna be worth it in the end. What about a uh, Soccer, you still doing the soccer? I am still doing soccer. I'm still, uh, obviously I'm not playing as high up as all those other guys, all the other lads from school, yeah. but um, I'm still keeping going. And I actually wanted to mention, life. I think when we started high school, mm -hmm. you're the first new person that I met. I think it was Jim that I met you. <laughs> it was Jim. And like, <laughs> I remember that. That, that was it, because we were both in, in gym together at like grade nine. I, I remember this guy. Would go. What I, do? I, remember, I remember this guy. It was him and Colin Francis and Sebastian Boucher. And I remember we would be having to do laps. You know, you know, you know, you know, Mr. Creed, right? You know, yeah, hey guys, come on, guys, guys, come on, yeah. come on, come on, come yeah. on. Do a lap, come on, let's go. <laughs> He's like, like, hey, hey, can't run? You don't want to think of your excuses? Look at these eyes. Roll them, get to step. Yeah, he's <laughs> 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 That's true. But he, but I remember we were running laps in the gym. And this guy kept like running on walls in the bleachers, but like the bleachers were not like the side. And he kept going like, yeah, and going across the side and stuff. Every time these guys would run by, it would be him, Sebastian Boucher, and Colin Francis. And they would, and Michael Walsh was the only guy that wore tearaway pants. But these guys would come by like, like, 
friggin' tigers and take like a swipe at his pants, so literally, oh. till it got to the point where the guy was yeah. in his tidy whities He just back up into a corner and try to rewind. <laughs> he was trying to rewind, and then I remember, out of everybody in the class, blames me for ripping his pants off. So I don't know, I, that was crazy. But <laughs> we'll uh, we'll have him on the show. I'll do a live. Oh show. my god. This is really funny. The first time I, I drove by myself, um, it was in a blizzard, and I was going to the gym with Nick Giannata. Mm. And I went to go, and obviously it was really, if you were to slam on the brakes, you'd skid. And there was a turn that I was going a bit too fast, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I could make it. Did Ben make it? <laughs> no, we didn't. What happened was I go to ben turn and I skid right onto some guy's front lawn and the guy's out on his porch shoveling. Oh. And I'm like looking like, oh crap. And <laughs> the week before I was with Mike and I was going to UIT and what happened was, I forget, it was one of the back roads by UIT and um, I was going and this guy, the speed limit was 60, this guy's going 45. So I'm behind him and I'm like, you know what, screw this guy, I'm just going to go by, I'm like nothing. What I didn't anticipate is this guy doesn't turn on his blinker and he turns into a parking lot. So I veer around him and I'm in a ditch like this in the car. The car is down. Oh Same car God. that I hit you with. And I'm there with Mike and Mike's sitting there like, I'm so, I'm surprised because for a black guy, he wasn't really extra in that moment because he always spent some black guy. He's like, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh my God. You done fucked up. You know what I mean? But like, you done dumb ninja. Like, you oh done. man, you done goofed. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we keep this? And I'm thinking like, oh my god, I gotta call a tow truck. Oh my god, I'm gonna be screwed up. Oh, like blah, blah, blah. And Mike's like, what do you just try driving out? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a good Mike impression. That's not good. No. So, just try backing up. <laughs> <laughs> like, to like, like, and we're all like, like it's the first Mike. thing oh, on my mind. Like, shit. I'm only almost 90 degrees in a freaking ditch, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'll drive out. So I go out the house, I try, it, and surprisingly, we get out. Perfect. And this guy behind me in the truck is just totally dumbfounded. Like, he's there, stopped, and he's like, damn. Looking at me, and I, and Mike's like, are you going to yell at him? And I was like, oh, the car's not broken, let's go. And I just kept going. <laughs> I just want to know. Because, yeah, you on the Austin soccer team had, I heard a lot of crazy stories, a lot of weird stories, a lot of disgusting stories. Oh, so I God. want you to tell me the weirdest, grossest, craziest <laughs> stories. <laughs> From that, the Austin soccer team? Yeah, that you and the Austin soccer team did. And it, if I deem it worthy, then I'll, you win a Oh, okay. My God, there's so many to pick from. Tell the one about the pizza box. Tell, tell us the pizza box. Okay. So, yeah, so what happened was, this was like 3 in the morning. We have a game at like 6. Mm -hmm. Or not six, sorry, seven. So call in Francis or orders pizza or whatever, and blah blah blah. They're all everybody's going crazy, just being idiots. And Colin comes up to me, and he's like, "If you want an extra pizza slice, right?" So I'm thinking like, "Fuck, all right." Like keep in mind, I should have been like, "All right, this is Colin <laughs> Francis. Like this guy probably has his dick in a box." <laughs> so like, what he does is he opens the box, and I just see fucking. Conan the Barbarian's bicep in there. <laughs> and, and, oh, and black though. Just two bits of sausage for my life. It was a bit too tanned, obviously. Yeah. And he chased me down the hall, the hotel hall. And one of the funniest things is there was like an old couple and they were like coming, I guess they were going to dinner or something and they came over and they were like, oh. And he offered the pizza. So, like, ah. so, so to set the story, you're running down the hallway of a nice hotel. Yes, With the Holiday Inn to be Francis. exact. And his wang is... It in wasn't just his, it was his whole thing was in there. Like, balls and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it was, like... How? At first I looked and I was like, what the... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> just ran. Excellent. This one's even funnier, so... We, um, okay, this so then, so this, this was the guys, these were with, the, this is when um, I was in grade 11, or when we were in grade 11, sorry, so they were guys who were older than us on the team, so, mm -hmm. you guys remember Calvin Smith Jr., we all called him Bubba. Yeah, Black yeah, yeah. Guy, I remember right? the nickname, yeah. probably. So, Bubs is, uh, we're, well, the whole team is in Colin's room, and we're all just going nuts, you know, just causing, sh causing shenanigans. What happens with Bubba, um, is, so the whole room is dark. At this point, right? Bubba is where I remember he was wearing a cow, a straw cowboy hat, a plaid shirt, and like ripped jean shorts. And then like it starts to really smell. And we're like, yo, whoever like let that go, like that's that's horrid, like that's bad. And then 
to the point where like I remember I was when I was like, yo, this actually smells like crap. <laughs> like this actually smells like someone crapped themselves, right? And Bubba takes off at this point. And keep in mind, this is in Colin's room. There's a door that connected Colin's room to my room, right? Yeah, yeah. So we turn on the light. Oh no! <laughs> and it just so happened that someone took a dump on the floor. But before, <laughs> but before anybody could realize what had happened, Stephen Molnar, barefoot and all, stepped right in the hole. Oh Steve. my god! <laughs> And of course, remember Steve, right? He's kind of like, not like, he, goes, he was all kind of like, yeah, what's that dude kind of guy, right? Yeah. So he's like, oh, man, there's, what the hell? And there's this in between his toes, and he's carrying it with him to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't, you know what, man? I don't want to hear anymore. Just take the damn oh, right. Well, there's more. If there's more in there. No, no, I don't, no, no. It's awesome. And this is, thanks, oh, this is why. Why is this really yeah. good? It's the, the good kind, too. I got the of course. cheap stuff for myself. But, Benjamin, thank you for being on the thank show. Thank you very much for having hey. me, guys. I'd love to come back All on right. sometime whenever you uh, tell us some new stories for you. Yeah, as disgusting or? Uh. <laughs>